How's it going everybody? It is Dunkle Dylan here. And today we are doing what if uh Deku was Doomsday Part 1. Now, um in this what if we start off with Izuku pretty much being born and uh Izuku, and, well, Inko mostly takes Izuku home. Home. I mean, Inko takes Izuku home, and, well, a time skip. Uh, Izuku's now pretty much the age of nine. This is when they go to the cork doctor. This is when the doctor says, your son has a very, very dangerous quirk. And it's called Doomsday. They explain mostly what it does, and Izuku doesn't really care, neither does Inko. She says, we know, her, his uh, father had it. Uh, oh, um, I, uh, I see. Um, uh, I see. Now, Izuku is not heartbroken, nor is he complaining, he just doesn't care, because... His mother is not like the. His mother taught him that quirks are pretty much useful, and the more dangerous you it is, the less you're gonna get, the less you're uh, known, pretty much. Like the more you'll be shunned, which Izuku is okay with. They get back home, and Izuku he's now being homeschooled. Why? Because of his quirk. Plus, Inko doesn't want Izuku to be bullied because of his quirk. Deku now, we're going to do another time skip where Izuku's now 15. Now, Inko mostly asks him one thing. Do you want to be a hero, Izuku? No, not really, Mom. Okay, that's a shocker. Why? You'll be feeling your father's dream. Dad's dream, I don't even remember him. We don't even know if he's alive. Then what do you want to be? Um, I think I would like to be a construction worker. That's pretty much what my quirk is for. I can see that. I'll make some calls when you get old enough. Or pretty much, I'll make some calls, see who takes in young lads with that quirk like that. Now, she does make some calls. And luckily there is one that was an old friend of hers. Hers, and she actually accepted Izuku because she was always fascinated by, well, her husband's quirk, which is pretty much like very, very rare. All right, Izuku, um, I managed to get someone. Oh, who? Uh, you'll see her, mind you. Uh, you won't be gar. She won't. You won't be a construction worker. Oh, okay. What will I be? A bodyguard. A bodyguard? Yeah, a bodyguard. Why? Well, Izuku. Mostly because... Well... Mostly because... As your quirk... I understand, Mom. I'm too dangerous. Dangerous, and I'm more as a bodyguard. Correct. So, who am I guarding? Oh, Momo Rairozu. Isn't they a rich family? Why would they need a bodyguard? Momo, well, their daughter likes to, um, flirt with the guards. Ah, got it. So pretty much, just do your job, and don't. Well, Mom, I'm gay. I, there's no way in hell I'm going to let her do that to me. Okay. But anyway, may I ask, did anyone hire one of me as a construction worker? Unfortunately not. That's why you're doing the guarding thing. Because your quirk, everyone is afraid of your quirk. Not because of the name, because of what it is. It's pretty much like a monster quirk. Monster Quirk, that's a new one. 
Alright. At least I know. So, when do I go? Um, she, they should be arrived right about now. And this is when they hear a knock on the door. Oh, that must be them. Alright, Izuku. Uh, get ready. Already? Alright. Inko walks to the door, opens it, and says, Ah! You must be Mr. and Mrs. Ryozu. And you must be Mrs. Midoriya. Yes. Uh, we heard that your son had a... We... My wife told me that your son has a doomsday quirk? Yes. Hmm. Alright, let's see the kid. That's when Izuku walks out. Mostly wearing a tank top and... And some pants. Hmm. Um, can I ask you something, sir? I'm not into your daughter, if that's what you're meaning. I'm not even into women. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, that was a bold answer. And you're not guilty about that? No, not really. This is when Ink... This one he whispers to Inko, Why does your son sound so dead? A side effect to his quirk. He has a little bit of he has a little emotion. So, for example, um, if he saw me brutally murdered, he wouldn't even shed a tear. Uh, oh, yeah, so emotions. So pretty much he won't hesitate to kill you if you try to hurt me, yeah. Noted. Um Okay, Izuku. Um, I know you're doing your job, but just try your best to make sure she doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, which school does she go to? Um, it is called, well, it's pretty much for rich people. Ah, got it. So, pretty much, I went, I'm pretty much just going to say, I am too poor to know. No, it's just that it has a very long name. Uh, it's called Old School of the Hopeless of School of the Hoped Angel of Victory. That's a little dramatic name. Shouldn't that be more of a book? I didn't make the school. I didn't even build it. It was someone else. Ah, got it. So, when do I start working? Uh, look, um, now, actually. Uh, Momo, get out of the car. This is when Momo walks out, and mostly, she says, Huh, ah, what's my new toy this time? Huh, <laughs> good luck with this one. This one's gay. More fun. Hunt to flirt. This one is just thinking, Great, a fucking slut. Just one I need to deal with. Might as well just get this over with. This is when Momo walks in and sees Izuku wearing a tank top and some jeans. Huh, he's not that bad looking. <laughs> so handsome. Before she can even touch him, Izuku grabs her by the hand and says, Don't touch me. I'm your bodyguard, not your sex toy. Do you want that? You can hire a whore down the street and flungs his, her arm away, which shocks Momo. And mostly the dad's like, how dare he do that to my daughter? But she needs to learn that not every boy will fall for her. This one Inko's thinking, oh boy, let's hope he doesn't get fired this early. Huh. You're right. You are gay. Yep. Let's just walk you to school. I want to know more about you. I'm your bodyguard. I am not your therapist. You're no fun. I'm a bodyguard. I'm not supposed to be fun. This is when Izuku mostly... Mostly Inko and... He, not even go. Izuku says to her mother, see ya. Yeah, mom. Uh, what time will I be able to go back home? Oh, around, uh, you're actually going to stay with us for at least a good two months until she gets into UA. <sighs> Say, why don't you 
Crack, why don't you go anyway? My quirk is too villainous, remember? Oh yeah, they won't accept you. Ooh, Ooh their life dependent on it, it's true. Well, let's just get this, let's get this over with. Yeah. This one, Izuku, well, no, mostly walking to the car, but Izuku takes cock, takes the front row. Oh. This one, Izuku, Mr. Ryan Rosie says, oh, why are you sitting on front? Yeah, never mind, fair point. Uh, just a look, I could tell. My daughter, got it. That's the one he's sitting next to his daughter, and Momo is just mad. Because she wants to know more about Izuku, but Izuku doesn't care. This one Izuku is mostly in the car, and he just says, All right, should we get going, ma'am? Yes. Oh, yes. You know, you're very nice, unlike the other bodyguards. Well, I ain't a whore. Whore or a slut. <laughs> that's for... That's, uh, that's obvious, since you literally declined my daughter twice. What do you mean, twice? People mostly accepted her just to be fucked. <laughs> well, she's gonna have to... Learn how to use her fingers. Really? 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 Hey. She has to. This is when Izu. This is when a 12 hours pass. And they finally manage to get home, and it is midnight. Izuku pops his neck and bluntly says, Huh. So I'm gonna be living here? Yep. Truth be told, I thought your house would be bigger. <laughs> Why, because we're rich? Because you're spoiled. Huh, she wasn't wrong. Doomsdays do have a sense of humor. Not a good one, either. That's when he walks in. In with Momo. And she just flirting and flirting with him. And Izuku's just ignoring her. This is when Momo actually gets a little irritated because she really wants, she never had a sex with a doomsday, so she really wants it. Now, Deku, he pretty much just walks into the kitchen. This is when one of the cats says, uh, what are you doing here? Coffee. That's why I'm here. Uh, oh, you must be one of Momo's bodyguard. Yup. So, did you finally do it? Did you do it with Momo? I'd rather fuck a slug. Uh, uh, damn! <sighs> she always is flirty. I'm afraid so, sir. <sighs> I am so gonna have a headache. Anyway, when does the UA thing happen? Um, around a good... Uh, oh, you mean the hero entrance exam? The UA entrance exam? Yeah, when does that happen? About two two months from now. Oh boy, this should be fun. <sighs> this one he takes a sip of his coffee. He goes, "Hmm, that's good coffee." Of course it is. It was made. It was. It is actually freshly grinded. Ah, uh, that's funny. So, oh, <laughs> this is weird. How come? They hired a man with a very dangerous quirk, aka me. Hmm, uh, what's your quirk? Doomsday. Uh, oh, I didn't think they'd be going this serious. What do you mean? Well, you see, Mr. Um, Madoya. Madoya? There have been incidents, you mean accidents, quote unquote? Yes, there have been mostly attacks by some other rich people. So pretty much rich people attacking rich people. Um, yes. Why am I not surprised? I would be, I would be if you were. 
or truth be told. I would be surprised if you even knew. All right, so oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get some sleep. With your coffee? He pours it out in the sink, and this is when he says, "Nope." It's good coffee though, but I need some sleep. It's been a long day. <laughs> All right. Oh, um, I'm supposed to show you to your guest room. Lead the way. He most she mostly leads him to his guest room. That's when he sees flowers leading to the guest room. <sighs> I'll sleep on the couch. That would be wise, because Momo, this is it. You're actually, like I said, the first ever person to ever reject her offer, you could say. Well, she's going to have to learn to get over it. Getting over someone rejecting you is not that easy than it looks. Well, she can learn. True. Oh, she can. So, um, where are you from? I'm from. Well, I'm mostly from around here. Oh, you're Japanese. My father was Russian, but yeah, if you could say I'm Japanese. So more on your mother's side, huh? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Well, uh, I hope you enjoy your stay, sir. And <sighs> just try not to, well, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't really promise much since ink since I know that that woman's gonna be flirting with me 24-7, am I wrong? Nope, you're not. What? <sighs> I'm gonna go into insanity, I know that for damn sure. <laughs> well, let's hope not. Uh, sir? Anyway, I'm getting some sleep. See you in the morning. See ya. The next day happens, and this is when he's awake, so he mostly just yawns. <sighs> and the next thing you see is Momo, literally standing next to him, and irritated. <sighs> what do you want? Why aren't you accepting it? Because I'm gay. I have fucked gay people before. Uh huh. Sure. And I don't care. Anyway, you should probably get to school. You're coming with me, you know that, right? Yeah, because it's my job. I'm not coming with you because you want me to fuck you. I'm coming with you because it's my job and I'm getting paid until you get to UA Academy. You will be mine. That's a bold statement. Anyway, you should get dressed. And you're not getting dressed yourself? I'm a bodyguard, not your nanny. Alright, alright, sheesh. This is when Mr. Ryarozu says, Huh, you really don't take crap from people. Of course I don't, no matter how rich they are. I still despise them. You despise humanity or something? Not despise humanity per se, but I do. Uh, I just don't like people as much. I can see that. <sighs> oh, uh, that reminds me. Do you know any weapons? I'm good with a knife. Oh. Well, uh, can you make. Can you carry this all the time? This one shows him a gun. You want me to go there packing? You think the school will allow that? Well, no. 
Sir, I'm my quirk is, is doomsday. I highly doubt anyone is dumb enough to face me. <sighs> True. True. People would be dumb to face you. It's just that you're a father that's worried before it's come, I know. It's not the uncommon thing, nor is it common. So I understand completely. Uh, you do? Yes. If I was you, I would be the same. Though, why is she so flirty? Ah, that would be her brother's doing. She has a sibling? Yes, but he's the black sheep of the family, you could say. Ah, too much fucking drinking. Hmm, I won't pry. Alright, he's not my contract, so I don't care. This one, Inko, this one, Momo says, I'm ready. Let's go. You could have hired someone that's some straight. Well, I kind of like him. He actually doesn't fall for your, your slutty tricks. This one, Izuku says, come on. This one, Izuku. Who and Momo mostly just walk their way to school. And everyone just, well, most of them might know what business. They get to school. I'm not going to say their name because I am not translating that. They get to school, and this is when he says, All right, ladies first. Aw, you can go ahead. I insist. Fine. Just trying to be nice. I'm your bodyguard, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is when he goes in and says, and he mostly does. They walk in and walk into the class. This one he says, ah, oh, this one here, ah, oh, Mr. Mrs. Myrosu, just in time, we were about to study, um, who's the buff guy? Oh, my, uh, bodyguard. This one's actually, no, he's more, another toy? No. Hey, okay, uh, what's your quirk, sir? I'm a bodyguard, I'm not here to question. Actually, just copy that. I'm a bodyguard. I am not here to answer your questions. She's my student. I don't care. Just give it up. He ain't gonna tell you. He's getting paid to protect me, not to answer questions. And he's pretty much doing a damn good job. As he, uh, nope. And that's coming from me, of all people. Uh, okay, even I gotta admit, that's pretty impressive. I know, right? But don't worry, I will get him. I can hear you. I know you won't. You can't really control a gay kid. This one, he's just scratching his head. Uh, and this one, Mina says, Hi! I mean, this one, a person says, Hello! Hmm. And they say, Mina. Oh, hey kid, what you want? Uh, nothing. It's just, a. Uh, um, is it true you have a doomsday quirk? Yeah, so the rumors about that shit is true, huh? They do spread rumors about me. Yeah, my quirk is called doomsday. That's so cool! Nani? Yeah, doomsday quirks are very rare. That's why people are afraid of you. Ah, uh, I thought because they were pussies. Uh, no, they just scared of you. Oh, you want to be friends? Uh, sure, I guess. Zug was singing his head. Why did I say that? Now I got people to annoy. Now I got people that will annoy me. But it does get lonely at home. And this. Oh, this one. She says. Oh, um, I want you to meet another friend. He's a little down. Why? He has a hardening quirk. Oh. Oh, with respect to the people with hardening quirks. Eh, I hope so. What's his name? 
Um, he goes by Karashima. Oh. This one he sees Karashima. The kid. Oh, sh so who is this Karashima? Oh, he's right there. He looks around and sees. Well, this kid with black hair. Looks like he's looks like he's seen death twice today. Okay, kid. I can see why you want to hide your true self. <sighs> Alright. This one he's just thinking, this is gonna be a long two months. And that's where I'm gonna leave it off, people. Like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Dunkle Dylan here, aka Dylan. Bye.